When we're really unsure as to what the current situation is with animals on a property, often what we'll do is the first season is we'll do a little test area. We'll see if we have any problems with deer or rabbits or squirrels or anything of the sort. Typically, we will plant the tulips closer to the house if it is an area that does have perhaps a light deer traffic. Um, and that way they're a little bit more protected because of the smell of the humans or if someone has a dog, that also helps to mitigate the situation. We have uh, found that there are still quite a few bulbs that we can use in the heavy deer or rabbit area, um, such as the daffodils, the glory of the snow. Um, we also do snowdrops and the alliums. And these we find, um, you don't have to really be afraid of it. If there is a problem, you can always try one of the products that help prevent the deer and rabbits from nibbling on them. Typically we find we have to apply that just as the buds are forming and then throughout the blooming season if it does become a case. But for the most part, I haven't really had any situations with daffodils and some of those really tried and true deer resistant ones where we've had to do that. Um, we will take opportunity and try to maybe push the limits a little bit. Some of the beautiful little species tulips that are kind of in the shorter height range, maybe 10 to 15 inches, we may pair those with something that we know the deer don't like, like the daffodils or the alliums and intersperse the plantings together and combine them. And a lot of times we find that the deer won't go through and cherry pick out, you know, they like this flower, but not that flower if they're all mixed together, but it can be neighborhood by neighborhood. We found the deer will eat one thing in one neighborhood and they could care less about it in another. Um, the same actually goes for squirrels. We find it's sort of a learned, learned behavior between, you know, like the squirrels in one neighborhood may dig up the tulips or they may decapitate them on us occasionally. And then the ones in other neighborhoods just go about their business and they don't care.